Has this ever happened to you? Quarreling about who throws what with dice during a board game, a little brother or a friend who continues to throw a 6 every time. Well, that won't happen again after this mission. We are going to program a digital die, so nobody can ever cheat again. The number that you throw will be shown by certain lights that are turned on or off. Now start up your browser and go to this page. Makecode.microbit.org The code, or the script, that we are going to create in this mission consists of a number of steps. 1. If you shake the micro bit, the script is started. 2. Then the animation starts with the rolling die. 3. Within the animation we make a variable, number, and this number is always a number between 1 and 6, the options of a die. 4. And then we create an image for every number with the LED lights that reflect the dots on a die. First, I name my script, Digital Die. Then, from the purple input blocks, I drag the block on shake to my work field. On shake is the code for when I shake the micro bit. Then we add the code for the animation of the rolling die. I want to roll the die 8 times. From loops, drag the block repeat do into the block on shake. Now it reads, if I shake, repeat everything in this block 4 times. However, I do not want to repeat it 4 times, but 8 times. We had said it was going to roll 8 times, so I changed the 4 into an 8. If I shake, then repeat everything within this block 8 times. Your turn, write the code. Then create a variable, the number on the die. A variable is a spot in the memory of the computer where a certain value, certain information is stored. This variable can assume certain values. I create a variable number. The better I describe my variable, the easier it is to understand my code. I click on make a variable and call it number. From the variables, I drag the block set number to zero into the block repeat. Your turn. My variable now has a name but no value yet. Nobody knows what that number is. So from math, I drag the block pick random 0 to 10 and place it behind my set item block. However, a die does not have a 0. That makes it a bit more complicated because I cannot adjust the zero. What we can do is adding the one to the zero. I drag away my pick random block and from math I pick the top block, zero plus zero, and drag this on top of the set number block. Then I drag the pick random to the first zero and I change the second zero into a one. Now it reads, choose a random number between 0 and 10 and add 1. I quickly change the 10 into a 5 because the highest number on a die is... That's right, 6. If we now shake the micro bit, our code chooses a random number between 1 and 6, the logic of a die. Now we only need to be able to see which number our script has chosen. This can be done by means of the LED lights. From logic, I drag the blue block if then and click it under the set number block. Then I choose, also from logic, the 0 equals 0 block and click that behind if. But I do not want if 0 equals 0, but if number, our variable, is 1. Therefore, I replace the block number from variables and change the 0 into a 1. Your turn. From basic, drag the block show and place it behind then. 
If the randomly chosen number is 1, then turn on this LED light. Where I have placed a check mark, that's where the light will burn. We have six numbers, so I click on the plus button five times. I now duplicate my number block five times by clicking on it and then select via the right mouse click Duplicate. Make sure that you select the entire block and not just the variable. Then I paste them on the correct spot and adjust all the numbers. Now add the LED block 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And check the correct light. Done! Shall we test the script? To do that, click on the top of your screen on the micro bit on the button Shake. Here's the animation, and it ends on the number. The code for the digital die is done. We are now going to send the code to your micro bit. Remember how that goes? Give the script a name and then click on the Save icon. The download will start automatically. In my case, the hex file shows up in the folder Downloads. Now I connect my micro bit to my laptop with a USB cable. A new drive appears, micro bit. Next, I drag the file to my micro bit and voila, there it is. Disconnect the micro bit from the computer. It no longer receives power. So first we have to connect some batteries. You do that by placing the batteries into the battery holder. Then connect the plug to the micro bit. Now if you shake the micro bit, the script will start and the code chooses a random number between 1 and 6. You're up next. Want to do more? Here are a few ideas. Instead of dots, you could use real numbers on the die. You would have to adjust your LED lights for that. You could also combine two dice, so a digital die with 12 numbers. Have fun, and see you next time!